Good day, Gemini viewers. I am Sarah B, and you're tuning into Just Be Tarot. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for your awesome energy, and thank you for clicking on subscribe, liking this video, and hitting that notification bell. That'll let you know when I'm going live or uploading new videos. Today, I am shuffling for the overall energy for the Gemini Collective for February 2023. If this is a general reading, not personal, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. Spirit, what do we need to reveal to the Gemini Collective's greatest good and overall energy for 2023? All right, let's see what we have here. I have giving birth. I am bringing forth new and dynamic energy into the world and embarking on an adventure. I savor the wonders of the world. Now, immediately I'm getting a um, an energy of, of starting something new. Um, yes, you could, um, get pregnant this year or within the month, or, um, you know, if you've been trying, if, if not, you could be very fertile right now. So please take, uh, precaution or your significant other or whomever might be, um, you know, uh, able to get pregnant very easily right now. So please take precaution if you're not uh, ready to have that happen. But this is also about new opportunities, creating new, new life for yourselves. Uh, this could mean a job opportunity. This could mean, um, starting a, you know, an, a new business for yourself, being an entrepreneur. This could be, um, you know, moving, this is giving birth to new ideas, new uh, passions, um, started planting seeds of what you want to do for, you know, February, um, that kind of stuff, uh, putting out and manifesting into the universe these new um, adventures, you know, with all these new things that are going to be happening in February for you, um, it's going to be a lot of hard work, a lot to get used to. Um, a lot of energy, some of it is going to be super excitable. Sometimes you might be snappy, but it, it, you have to remember the long and short of it is that it's an adventure and it, it's going to go more smoothly if you think of it that way as, you know, something that's fun and something adventurous is something that's new rather than, um, you know, work or change or, um, something tedious to get done. It's going to be a fun time. It's going to be, you're going to be learning a lot. You're going to be um, experiencing new things, meeting new people. So just keep that in mind. So let's move on to our tarot deck. Gemini's. Spirit, I am shuffling for the Gemini Collective's greatest good. And overall energy for February 2023. What does the Gemini Collective need to know for their greatest good for February 2023? What does the Gemini Collective need to know? What does Gemini's need revealed to them for their greatest good? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles. Exactly what I said about planting seeds, manifesting, waiting for your things to come into fruition. We have the Ten of Rods, Ten of Wands. We have the Ace of Rods in the reverse. And we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so like I said, um... I'm seeing, I'm seeing, and I'm hearing that you are, you're, have a lot of new ideas coming to you. Um, these are, these may be downloads from spirit coming through, um, new opportunities. You're putting, you're hustling, you're networking a lot, putting a lot of work out there. Um, this could be on top of you know, you're already putting in, you know, eight, nine hour days, and then you're coming home to then 
you know, get this company up and running or doing your thing, or maybe you're coming home to a family um, that needs your support and your love. But th for some reason, this is for some reason, I know the reason you're working very, very hard and this is feeling overwhelming to you. And you are needing to delegate responsibilities to people. Now, maybe if you're starting a new company, you're not able to delegate responsibilities. Um, you might not even have any employees yet. Um, so you're, you're being asked to maybe step back or take a break, maybe take a long weekend or, um, you know, adjust your schedule for those who, who need you. Um, because I, I'm getting, I'm hearing that they're missing, they're missing out on you. And, um, there's, there might be, it might be causing a, a relationship issue as far as, um, intimacy, not to sound uh, crude, but this is, uh, like there might be some kind of intimacy problems because you're working too hard. You're putting in late nights, early mornings, and, um, for whatever reason, you're not able to, to really spend that time with your person to really connect with your person in an intimate way. And um, this has them feeling like maybe something needs to change. Um, there needs to be changes here. There needs to be a decision. Um, you need to see the bigger picture with this. Yes, you're doing it for the greatest good of your family and your future. But right now, in the present, um, needs to be looked at as well. So let's go ahead and clarify the seven of uh, pentacles for the Gemini collective. Okay. So we have the high priestess in reverse and the hanged man in reverse. Um, I'm feeling like you are taking on a lot for yourself. I just keep getting this like overwhelming, taking on a lot, being overworked um, energy. You might be kind of getting a little snippy or engaging in arguments with people over silly things. And, um, but there's going to be some enlightenment for you. There's something you need to learn. But you meet, might need to learn this because something's going to happen. Like, and you're like, well, I'll never make, make that mistake again. Um, it's like you're going to be enlightened, but it's going to be like a shock to you is what I'm hearing with this uh, hanged man energy. Let's pick one more card to clarify the seven of pent. Thank you. This is the um, five of swords. So... It's like you want to get this done. You want to win at any cost. You want to, to, you're very tedious. You're very, um, you're very hardworking, but it's, it's like you're self-sabotaging at the same time. All this work that you're putting into your whatever it is you're putting it into there's something you're putting work into something that you're manifesting something that you're working hard towards um and this doesn't have to be work related it can be school related um but there's some kind of accomplishment that you want to make and you're putting a lot of work to it um and there's there's like this people want to see you putting as much energy into them Whoever um, your counterpart is wants to see you putting as much energy into them or a situation, maybe your kids, as you are putting into this, um, whatever it is you're trying to achieve. But you know your goal is to, to secure your future. But you also have to look at your present is what I'm hearing. Of course you want to secure your future. This is a good opportunity for you, whoa, for you and your family. And, um, but, you know, you can't take that opportunity if you don't have any family that there's going to, I mean, God forbid they walk away while you're all spending all your time working on the future. 
Okay, let's clarify this Ten of Wands for our Gemini Collective. Ten of Wands. What do you mean by the Ten of Wands? Okay, so we have the Fool in Reverse. And the Four of Swords in Reverse. You're not getting, you're not taking care of yourself. You're really at a setback. This could be health-wise. Maybe you've been ill. Um, I'm getting a setback. Maybe you were supposed to start something and haven't been able to because of health reasons. And now that has you feeling like you're, you haven't been productive. You're being set back. Um... I'm hearing you might need to go to the doctor. Um, Self-care. There, there's something that's setting you back here. Let me get one more card. Thank you, Spirit. So maybe somebody in your situation has been sick or you're not caring enough for your situation, your, your relationship. It's like you're taking steps back with this full, uh, <clears throat> full card in reverse. There, I'm hearing there might be an illness, but it looks like this is like you're not taking care of your relationship. There, there needs to be some care in this relationship. I know I've been saying for the last um, couple readings for you guys, take some time to get away by yourselves. They're, they're, it, it seems like your relationship needs it. It's like you're, you're moving backwards in time. So if you can, if you're able to get away, then you might want to do that in order to... Um, rebuild or rekindle, respark um, your relationship. There might be um, you might need some some alone time, some adult time. This is the nine of swords. I mean nine of wands. Something is feeling off. You're somebody's hurt. You're hurt by something. This is the, you know, we're clearing for the Ace of Wands. So this may be a lack of passion. Um, maybe a lack of intimacy. Uh, somebody's hurt by it. There might be some healing that needs to happen. Self-care. This might be even, I'm hearing, couples counseling. If your partner's willing to do that. Can I have a couple more cards to clarify the Ace of Wands in reverse? Thank you. I don't think uh, you're getting enough attention. The Six of Wands is all about attention, ego, the spotlight being on you. And I feel like there's definitely not attention here and it's getting into your head. You need to release this. And know that... I feel like there's a lack of communication in a relationship. This could be... It doesn't have to be romantic... But there's a lack of communication here. All the, the swords that are in here, which is messages, communication, are all in reverse. So this is a lack of communication. They might be not showing you how they feel or telling you how they feel. Um, you might be questioning. 
their their intentions, their how they what level. I don't mean I don't depending on where you are in a relationship, you could just be starting to, you know, date or get with this person. Um you might have just started a job and you're wondering like is this even for me? You maybe you're not um Maybe you're used to a lot of praise at other places and nobody's really telling you anything. I just heard no news is good news. I mean, yeah, that works in some situations, but some other people need to be reassured. And that might be you. Maybe you need some reassurance or your person needs some reassurance that things are okay. Maybe, um, you know, if you're unsure at your workplace... Go ahead and ask your supervisor or your boss, is everything working out? Is there anything I can prove upon? Um, and they can let you know. And if it's school, I feel like you're constantly getting updates on <laughs> wherever you get updates on. Uh, everything's very electronic these days. So you always kind of know how you or your kids are doing in, in school. So I feel like it's never a question. You can always find out. But if there is, if you need to talk to, you know, your your kids' teachers or, you know, your um, professors. Because you need to, to know, like, how can I improve upon this? Is there something I, else I can do? Um, how do I move forward? Then take that opportunity. Okay, we're going to clarify for the Two of Swords in Reverse. For our Gemini Collective, Two of Swords in Reverse for February 20... Whoops. Take them? That's a lot. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoa, this is a lot. Okay, so we have the King of Cups. We have the Five of Pentacles in Reverse. We have the Temperance card. And the tower. So. Change is going to come. You're looking to be healed. And you're trying to find the people who are. Can offer that healing. Like I said, maybe you need to go to counseling or couples counseling or even, you know, solo counseling uh, for yourself. It's always good to to treat your mental health even if you're not um diagnosed with anything going to talk to a third party is so relieving um people who haven't done it have no idea until you do it um there is a lot of love from your person like i said there's not much communication here all of the swords are in reverse this person might not know how to communicate maybe they didn't grow up telling their person that they love them or telling their parents or maybe their parents didn't tell them that they were loved and so they don't know how to do that for you but they are loving you with everything that they have the way that they know to communicate they are trying they are trying their hardest and yes it might not be what you're used to or what you want but they are trying you know, they are, they haven't given up. They're healing. They're trying. Okay, so, but there has to be patience or there's going to be a big change or you're looking for a big change. Um, this might be a change that you're implementing, but it's going to be, make a lot of people, it's, if, if it's an implementation of the tower, it's going to be a change that affects a lot of people. Um, so I'm here to have patience um, before maybe you make this change because, or I just, hmm. okay, so I just got two things. To continue with what I was saying, have patience because this person may be working on themselves and to avoid this tower moment, but I'm also hearing that 
that this tower moment might be coming to make the changes. Because there's something that you're stuck in that or somebody in your energy is stuck in that is not moving forward. And they just told me to look at the full in reverse. It's like, like I said, you were, I, I felt that you were going backwards. You're not progressing. And then we got these self-care cards. So uh, this might even be some sort of physical problem, um, health issue that might rock your world. So if this sounds like something that's, you know, in your energy, I, I'm, I'm really getting health. And I usually don't get that with, with these cards. I don't get health too often anyway, but I'm really getting it today. So this might be this tower moment might actually be some kind of health scare or health issue. So you might want to visit um, your general practitioner or whoever you need to go to to get a checkup. All right. So let's shuffle these cards and see what spirit has for messages for the conclusion of this reading spirit what does a gemini collective need to know in conclusion to this reading for february 2022 i have another couple of cards concluding this reason reading for february 2022, I said, February 2023. I apologize. First February 2023 for Gemini. General reading. Okay, well, it looks like this is what we have. Consider starting or expanding your own business. It's what we said at the very beginning of the, the reading. So that might be something you're considering or have started. And then volunteer. Volunteer work always makes your heart feel so much bigger. Spreading the love to other people who aren't as fortunate. It's really a, a beautiful thing to volunteer and help people. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for staying till the end. If you did, you know, I love my Geminis. Um, also, please uh, click on subscribe, like this video, see below on how to book a personal reading. And if not, I will see you next time. Bye, Gemini.